Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. So earlier today we had the release of the Lunar Festival event, Lunar, what is it? Lunar Realm. We had the release of the Lunar Realm event because we had the Hyakunin Iki for the past few days, but now we're onto the Lunar Realm, which is the fishing event, as we can see by the fishing rod and the fish here attached to it. So I thought let's just jump into the event guide here. So we're going to go over a few things here at the start. We're going to go over the event rewards, the general kind of rule of thumb when fishing, what to do when you have to fish, and then also what you have to do for the specific event itself. So now let's just jump into the event rewards. So when you complete the little introduction quest by talking to a few of the fishing people in Inazuma and then traveling over to Liyue, you'll be greeted with one of these menus, not this exact menu, you'll be greeted with this one here. We'll just go off this one for a few of the rewards. You can get Primo Gems as usual because it's an event. There's a hidden item which is a cosmetic fish. You have a unique fishing rod, the Moon Stringer. You have some Hero's Wit, some of these talent, uh, sorry, artifact XP things, which is actually quite a cool reward to get, which I 100% approve of. Got some Mystic Ore Enhancements, and you got some Mora. So pretty standard rewards apart from the uh, fishing rod, unique fish, and this thing, which I 100% approve of, all of this stuff. But to see the challenge specific rewards, you want to jump into the challenge kind of event thing here. And we have about seven challenges here to do over the course of five days. So one per day. And just looking at the rewards here, it's 60 primos per challenge. We got 60,000 more here, three heroes wit, four of the artifact XP items, and you've got six mystic enhancement or at the bottom here for doing the different challenges and now let's take a look at the challenges which is catch two sweet flower medaka within the challenge time limit then three and then also five within the challenge time limit so from my understanding of the fishing system that doesn't sound too hard i don't know what the time limit is i will get into that when we go to, over to the challenge but this seems pretty easy so let's just jump over to that challenge so this first challenge here is located in Liyue, just uh, west of the Mingyun village, over by the shoreline over here, by also a broken bridge. And when you get here, obviously, it's just going to be a pool in the water that you can fish at. And so a good rule of thumb when fishing is when you go to cast your line into the water, don't throw the fishing rod too far away from the fish, uh, but definitely don't try to do it too close. It's better to do it further away than too close, because if it's too close, you'll scare the fish away thus waste time, and we don't want to waste time now, do we? So that's something I'd recommend if you're going to chuck a, your rod or lure at the fish or near the fish, do it a bit further than you think rather than closer because you don't want to scare it away. But let's get into this challenge. I'm just going to have a hands-on experience with you. This is my first time entering the challenge, so this is what we get. Obviously, it's just like interacting with a fishing pond, I guess. I don't really know what I'm meant to do. So we have to catch five of them within a certain time limit. Okay, so I guess uh, let's start fishing. Okay, we have two minutes. We have two minutes to catch five fish. That's actually pretty all right. Not too bad. First challenge actually should be really easy then. And because it is the first challenge, you'll be catching the, like, the tier one fish. So literally nothing too difficult here. Just take your time setting up the lures and whatnot, placing them accurately and all that. And you should be able to have a pretty easy time doing this. And the tension meter thingy, the, the thing that you have to play around with, the actual mini game of this fishing event, um, the whole tension thing, is actually quite easy for this first fish. Can get pretty difficult for later on fish, especially the rare fish that you can encounter, but overall shouldn't be too difficult. I did also just realize that we are catching the wrong fish. We're meant to be catching these uh, kind of pinkish medakas. I've been catching the slightly beige ones. That's a... Uh, which way? Which fish are we meant to be catching? Oh no, we are meant to be catching the beige ones. Oh my lord, I've just been wasting time. Okay. Hold up. I'm focusing up here because I've been catching the wrong fish for a while now. We need... We need... Okay. Hmm. Okay, so keep that in mind. You need to be catching the sweet flower medakas, which are the... Uh, slightly orangey beige looking ones. You don't want to really be trying to catch the pink ones whilst you're doing this event. Now we've got 20 seconds here to catch. Uh, okay, this is a fail. This is a fail. Unless this guy really speeds up. Okay, this is, we're against the time here. Come on, animation. Maybe if we can, like, get in the animation. Okay, nah, this is a messed up. 
Well, listen. We didn't get five sweet flower madakas, but we got seven fish in total. Now, I'm going to blame the game for that. Uh, it didn't specify which fish I needed to do. It actually did, though. Uh, but, you know, regardless. Regardless. Let's just jump in here. We got four out of the five fish that we needed, mainly because... I was kind of sidetracked in, in explaining things and I didn't see which fish I was meant to be getting. But that is the event. Shouldn't be too difficult at all, at least for these first few challenges. Obviously, there's a bit of a, a question mark here. Question mark here. Yeah, for these ones here. So I assume these are to do with the actual story of the event where you have to catch that fish. But as you go down in the difficulty, or like rather up in the difficulty, I guess, but down in the challenges here, over to the bottom, to the over the moon challenge, you'll be catching the higher rarity fish, so the puffer fish, the stingray looking kind of things. You'll be catching higher ones, and they'll be a lot more difficult in terms of the tension meter. So be wary of that uh, to prepare kind of thoroughly, maybe practice on like the actual normal pools throughout the world, just catching fish and practicing. But I definitely, off screen, will definitely come back to this pool here and uh, get that five fish in total just to get that uh, six or enhancement, you know? But that's pretty much it for this first challenge. I will cover each one uh, definitely in a video, but the extensiveness will depend on the difficulty of the challenge. This first one here was mainly to explain the challenge as a whole and also give you guys a bit of a guide on how to catch the sweet flower madakas. But in general, these first three, I'm not expecting too much difficulty. You're not going to be catching any hard fish anything like that at all really so with that hope you guys all did enjoy if you did hit that like button and if you like this type of content hit that subscribe button thank you all so much for watching and i'll catch you on the next one peace out